Hey everybody, Carl Schuf here from Snorkel.tv and today I want to show you how to make a basic dynamic text effect. Now the animation that you see here isn't going to blow you away, but what I want to do is focus on the fact that all the text that you're seeing is being pulled from this one line of code here where we have this array of phrases, alright? For each element in the array, we're going to create a div with that text in it, we're going to animate it and shove that animation into a timeline. It's extremely flexible and something you can use as a template to make more advanced effects. Let me show you how it's done. All right, so let me give you a little walkthrough of the basic mechanics of how this is built, all right? The important thing is in the HTML, we have a div with a class of demo applied, all right? In the CSS, we have some stuff set up. We'll eventually have the visibility hidden by default on that. But we see that we have here demo div okay so every div that gets added to that demo layer right now you'll see it's empty there's nothing inside of it is going to have these css settings applied to it all right so just some stuff to get text in the middle of the screen over in the javascript let's go take a looky there we have two main functions set up that are going to do all the work for us but from the top we have a phrases array that has happy new year to all who believe in new year's hard eyes emoji, all as separate phrases inside an array. We are setting up this uh, variable here, demo, which is gonna select our div with the class of demo. And I'm building a GSAP timeline right here so that we can put our animations inside of it. And it's going to repeat for us five times. The create layers function is where the first part of stuff happens. It's going to go into that phrases array and we'll do a for each here, where for every element in the array, we're going to create a new div. We're then going to populate that div with the value from the array. And then we're going to put that layer into the DOM using demo.appendChildLayer. So let's see how that works. We have another function here sort of commented out, but I'm gonna call the create layers function right here. I'm gonna hit run. And what's gonna happen? Boom! We get all of the text set up centered on the screen, including the nice heart eyes emoji. I'm just gonna right click and do a little old inspection. And you're going to see that we have our div with the class of demo. And then we have individual divs for all those little pieces of text there, including heart eyes emoji, all right? So we've dynamically created these divs with this text inside of it. Awesome. Back over here, now what I want to do is animate each one of these words individually. So let's see what our animate text function is going to do for us. Let me just select that whole thing there. And I do a command option slash to uncomment. And so the animate text function is basically going to take each layer and create an animation for it and put that animation in a timeline. So the first line here is going to select all those divs inside the demo thingy. And then we're going to do a for each loop on all of those elements. And for every element in that div, we're going to take our timeline animation and do a from two, okay? We're gonna start at an opacity of zero and a scale of zero. And we're gonna to animate to a Y of zero. You know what, I think at one point I had messed around with doing a little up and downy, we don't need that. Uh, and we're gonna to go to a scale one, opacity one, and we're just going to do a repeat one with yo-yo true so that it's going to become visible and grow up and then grow back down. So for every word in our array, we're creating a new tween inside of our timeline. Once we've built all this stuff, we're going to take that demo layer and set its visibility to visible. You might be saying like, well, why are you doing that? Because eventually what we're gonna do in the CSS is make sure that the demo has its visibility hidden so that we don't see any of this stuff before our animation plays. I have a whole lesson on this in GSAP3 Express about how to avoid flash of unstyled content. So you can refer to that. But anyway, we're pretty much ready to rock and roll. So let me go ahead and animate text. So we're gonna create the layers first and then we're going to animate them. Let's uh, give us a little bit more room here. I'm gonna hit run and then now Happy New Year to all who believe in New Year's. Ha ha ha. And in case you're wondering again, you know, why I would write all this code, the big advantage here is that you can take the elements in this array 
and you can change them to anything you want. So you just change some text around and voila, you have a new animation. So thanks for watching. All right, pretty cool. Now, if you've watched this video and you're thinking, oh, you know what? I don't really know what a for each loop is or what's an arrow function and, and stuff like that. I wanna tell you about a course I found this weekend that you can try out for free. It's on Skillshare and I use it to give myself a little refresher of classes and as someone who sort of learned JavaScript ages ago and isn't really up to all the newfangled stuff like let and const classes and extending classes or even stuff like arrow functions and template literals, I learned a lot from this course. So I really don't wanna cover JavaScript basics. So if anybody out there needs a refresher on some of this stuff, this is the course I'm going to be recommending. Since it's on Skillshare, I can give you two months of it free, and uh, I think you'll really like it. I definitely did. And uh, this may cause some trouble, but it actually opened up my eyes to not using semicolons, all right? Um, I was watching this course and I was like, the code looks so good. And then I realized that Caleb here isn't using semicolons at all. And if you look back at my video, you'll see I didn't have them either. So it's something I'm experimenting with. I'm sure people have their thoughts. If you want to share them in the YouTube comments, please go ahead. Please be gentle. But personally right now, I'm kind of digging it. So anyway, I've seen a lot of beginner JavaScript courses. I think this one is really going to help people get up to speed with the basics like functions, variables, and loops. And again, even for an old timer like me who's been sort of hobbling through JavaScript for a while, I definitely learned a few things. So the stuff about classes, you're definitely going to see in future lessons. So that's it. In the next video I do, I'm going to show you how making just a few modifications, we can build this animation and have it activated by click, all right? Because what I really wanted was something that I could create sort of like a voice over bullet points for. So the best way to control the timing was for me to be able to click to have the next words come in. So again, that's in the next video. And all these files are available, of course, to my Creative Coding Club subscribers. For more info, check out the description below. Enjoy.